Captain Falcon on the mind right there when I seen that. I forget how some so many moves, uh, you know, Sonic, you know, he shares with other characters in the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, dude, when you have 80 characters, people are gonna be sharing some moves, man. That's, that's true. If Sakurai can make a, a game that where another character's uh, sharing, you know, sharing moves, and it is 80 people, bro, you you too much of a genius. That's true. I'm just I'm a little worn out on meters, man. But you didn't hear that from me. All right. All right. Kazamoth stays 107 here. They able to snap, and I like that, man. Homing attack right would look to be a down smash coming out now. Again, Cosmos out of eight. What does he to do? The backer closes it out. Gets himself the grab. Can't get too much more off of that, man. He already put the damage on him, man. He's got a, a little bit of rage, so I feel like he couldn't go for the neutral air stuff. Okay, nice delay jab right there. Getting a little fancy at the ledge. Catches the neutral get up. That was a smart option met by an even better one right there for Cosmos. Yeah, you saw Cosmos actually try to catch that. Uh, that uh, homing attack in with the forward air. Okay, there we go. Neutral air back air this time. Yeah, Sonic's homing attack is just a difficult move to pinpoint as it is anyway, man. Sometimes you just got to let him do it if you really can't pinpoint where he's going. Yeah, but also, you know, if Sonic, if you're able to spot dodge it or, like, you know, run away from him and Sonic hits the ground, it's, like, dumb punishable, so. That's true. You know, he might have to use a little bit of that movement as you see as he's charging up to get up out of there. Back throw, Rest. not going to be enough yet. Very close. He will not be able to take another back throw. See how he gets off the ledge? That's right. Up. Okay. Oh, oh I, I don't know what the hell that hitbox is right there, but goddamn it, it works. Yeah. All right, man. Well, let's we'll see how this goes right here. See how this one plays out. Right, Rogue Light, eight goblin. Oh. Uh, you know, Rogue Light actually starting up at level two, man. If you saw him yesterday, my boy had the hoodie up, and then after he took that hoodie down, it was all over for ESAM, so. Yeah, this is a ascended Super Saiyan. It's like almost level two, but not quite. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is ascended light right here. And then okay. he went Super Saiyan 2, then he went dark. My man said he was a Super Saiyan 1.5 out here. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Bro. Just just barely off. Uh, no Magnet Hand's really helping out uh, uh, Roy there. So, yeah, that's one thing I think Goblin will have to watch God out damn. for, man. Light is really good at parrying. And uh, and Goblin wants to land on your shield all the time. So, or yeah. just on you, but, you know, on your shield. You can drop him some up airs, some forward airs, and to neutral, uh, into neutral. Uh, into jabs and things, but you can't get your jab out if you're just getting carried all the time. That's right. I think the best thing for him to do in a situation like this is, you know, you can still do your aerials, but maybe try to cross him up. That way, at least if he gets to parry, now it's up to light to try to dictate what he's going to hit you with so he can catch you. Nice. A little off the mark with the up smash. Definitely had the right idea, though. I mean, I think he would have, they would have traded at the, uh, the very least. So light now. Oh, where are you going? Nice call out. Use the neutral air, and he's like, you're going to jump out of shield. Damn, that back air was vicious. I'm telling you, TK, I don't think he really needs a center super center or anything right now. This is just looking like base form light right here. Maybe. All right. Okay, nice. One, two, three, jab. Nice. He's just, he's just playing as how this match is supposed to go. You know, you get in on Roy. You know, get as many hits as you can in as possible. But there's the thing, though. Nice. Get the double edge dance right there, man. And that's going to close out Light's first stock. Yeah, man. But Goblin already at 91%. This is looking all but done. Neutral air. Putting him off again. How's he going to get back up? Wow. Light this time. The ledge trap is so serious, and he finally gets up and just gets up smash. Three neutral layers to go ahead and add up just a little more damage so he can guarantee that up smash is going to take the game. And Goblin get into our second game. I don't really, like, there's there's too many notes to have for me to be like, well, what does Goblin got to do to get in here? Like, basically, like, you got to round it up and just, hey, man, you got to play You got to play around this fox better, bro. Yes. Because, I mean, like, you were falling in all the fox traps. Yeah, and, and again, the parries are on point, man. Yes, and here's the up tilt. So there's not really much he's going to be able to do. He's got to just eat all of that. Nice. Gets the extension off the platform for the second up air. Catches the directional air dodge back. And please, for the love of God, flick that C-stick, man, because Light is not slowing down anytime soon. I, I feel like there was some way he could have DI'd that to get out of those up tilts a little faster. I might be wrong, though. But, I mean, he was getting hit to the back and back to the front. So I just, you know, I feel like if holding out on whatever direction you were going probably would have helped him out or at least avoided him going back and forth the entire time. But it's all good. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He's still got some decent damage on his. Oh, oh yeah, some decent damage. Now he's back to zero, but at yeah. the cost of that first stock. But I got to say, I... He didn't, he, didn't even, he didn't even put him in a, in a tumble, too. That was a sliding there uh, into up smash. Good stuff uh, to light. Probably like a weak, weak nair, uh, nair, not really helping out huh. Goblin as he's trying to keep himself in to this uh, tournament. However, He's finding the trades here, just not finding the stock. Yeah. Light running up on him real quick. Yeah, this match slowly but surely kind of moving out in his favor here. Ooh, okay, some extra laser oh, damage. Goodbye. Wow. Goodbye. Wow. wow. Laid wow. the feet on him right there. Laid the feet on him, and now you're defeated. Mm. Damn. I mean, this is like, this has been basically, oh, wow, you see that move? Yeah. Oh, he's doing, oh, okay, that's actually dope. It's like this, like, uh, little tech where you, like, you air dodge back, but you end up pushing, uh, uh, you end up pushing, uh, Luma Ford, so yep. you get to create like this kind of space right there while still being able to uh, get your options out as quick as possible. But yeah, no, he's been like you know from Summit and a couple times before. Then I think he's really been trying to make this Rosa versus the Peach matchup work more than, uh, than the Olimar. 
Uh, and, like, you know, I'm, I'm for it, dude. I like seeing uh, Rosa play now because there's so few of them that, like, anytime you see it, it's a treat. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It's 80 characters in the game. Whenever you see some of the uh, underused characters, it's usually good. Yeah, and it's actually really weird that we even have to say that, like, Rosalina being underused because at once upon a time, I mean, this was this was his one-stop shop. Like, this was the Rosa first, and then you got the Bayo, and then you got all the other characters that he would rock with. But um, I think, you know, just after doing, like, those Fandom Legend Tuesdays events, I, I kind of pretty much had it in my head, like, you know, he's – you know, trying to Rosalina just to see how well it's going to work. And I got to tell you, man, this thing is looking very well practiced and very well polished. But well practiced, well polished or not, man, Sam Sora brings a different level of aggression with this Peach. I mean, he has been pretty much swinging for home runs since Ultimate came out. Yeah. And there's a reason why he's on the PGR position the way he is. Nice. Gets the back air. He's off stage. He's going to try to hold down mm. the right side. All the way to the other side, but he had the buzz. You can see him trying to get back to stage. Luma's like, you know what? Let me go ahead and put the bodyguard action out there. Barely uh, off the, barely, uh, you know, over the edge. Let me get live to see another day. Yes. He's letting I got enough booty for you and your friend. Okay, hold on. Okay, nice. The Mary Poppins. Nah, the back yeah. there. And that's the issue with Rosalina. I mean, not, not an issue in the Buzz's case, but I think for Sam Sora in, in this matchup, Rosalina is just such a long character, you know, and they can just really make, uh, you know, just the whole, like, floating aimlessly to the ledge thing difficult for Sam Sora. Yeah, I mean, she she really is a, a, a huge character, bro. Yeah, she's tall. Ain't she's, she like, like, she's like 8'10", bro, or something like that, man. <laughs> Straight Amazon. Yeah, Here is. we go. Especially with Sam Sora. I mean, we've seen Sam Sora obliterate stocks in, what, like 10 seconds. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't need much room to work with. All right, right here, man. Uh, the buzz, though. Definitely needs mm. to make some magic happen and fast. Playing the safe game right there, being stuck between Rosalina and Luma. It's weird because in certain situations you want to be in between them, and in other situations you just kind of don't. Man. Oh, okay, nice. Tossing that back there around slowly, but surely drifting out of harm's way with that forward air there from Sam Tor. And he's winding up. Oh, my goodness. Step on. Or well, halo on, man. You got Beyonce on right there. That's right, man. You're going to see that halo. Remember those walls she built where they just got tumbled down right there. <laughs> You know, with that, uh, that's so crazy. That I'm still thinking about the fact that, like, the Buzz option did not go for the gravitational. I, I mean, like, because you know he knows about that gravitational pull. Have you ever seen him go against, like, a, a Pac-Man? Oh, that thing be spinning. But, yeah, for some reason, he just decided not to pull it this time around. I'm finally starting to use it here uh, into the third game. But Tim Sora already with a very hot start here on the Buzz. Yeah, just really utilize these platforms to whip their work. And I like that, you know, he understands that, you know, obviously my forward air is a really strong KO option, but now I think I'm going to start using this to outspace Luma. If you're going to use Luma to try to outspace me, I'm just going to use it to get rid of her. Nice, but you know what? Forget Luma. You know, let's just get rid of Rosalina. Let's just reset the whole situation. We'll take it for what it is right here. Yeah. I know what he's about to do there. Fan what? Was about to, oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, Mark's looking for a lot right here, but I want to say that, you know, he's going ham and he's just styling. But when you have the matchup advantage, you know, on your end of the spectrum, I mean, you got to do that versus Mario. Yeah. Because Mario, historically, is not an easy character to gimp off stage anyway. There's, we've seen it countless times where you get out there, you think you're going to hit him, and then you clank into his up B, and he's back at the ledge again. Okay. Big oh. neutral. Nice. No side B there that time. Very smart. Darkwish is going to run right up shield, turn around, and still have time for the back row. Nice. And the fireball and the flood going to be very difficult to do it right here for... Mars in the up smash, of course, sending him packing with a one-way ticket up into the blast zone. You know, he's able to keep this a, a very even game at the very least, but Dark Wizzy, though, I feel like when he, once he gets some momentum going, yeah, it gets a little scary. Wow, the turnaround as well. Wait a minute. But speaking of turnaround, this one definitely looking like a turnaround right here. Yeah, bro. Don't want to get pinned down at the right side or the left side of the stage right here versus Dark Wizzy. Has the fireball. There's the reposition. Yeah, he's pinned Mars. He is definitely in full, in full control of this stock. Mars looking for the roller, not going to find it, but he's still... Definitely meeting oh, Dark Wizzy in the air quite oh. a bit. I mean, he had to believe in it. He had to. Had to believe. Okay, what's it going to be? Nice to fake out. If you jump right to the short hop there. Okay, you so, Mars. You're so, Mars. Mars. I hate him, dog. I, Mars. The, the craziest part is I Mars. definitely saw it coming. I was like, oh, he's lining this up for the down there. Mars. So, yeah, the debut show was definitely, uh, you know, I was, I was airing no commercials. So Right, that was uh, the first, like, the hour special right there. You know, you get the first the pilot episode with oh, no yeah. commercials. Oh, yeah. It's hour long. You get to introduce all the characters. Yeah, because, I mean, that was, that's definitely what I was feeling like, man. Introducing Luma eight times, you know, because of every <laughs> color. Because, yeah, I mean, Light was getting rid of the Lumas, but he just was not uh, being able to capitalize as much as he's doing it, like, right now. I like – I've always been wondering why he's been using more uh, Illusion, like, on the ground like that. Because uh, Illusion definitely can be punished if you, if you block it. But – uh, you know, when it, whenever you see the illusion into the up air, you're like, all right, I see it. Yeah. You see it? I see it. I see. I know you see. I know you see it. And, you know, the play side that he had at zero is going to be the same type of mentality he's going to have at 300%, you know? Yeah. Nice. Nair again. Oh, god damn. The Kung Fu's coming out. Hold up. Yeah, man. I mean, Rosalina, man, she's like, you know, I learned how to fight a little bit between these games. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And god the Nair, definitely hitting right now, though. God Oh, damn. God. 
You gross, the buzz. Okay. My boy Samuel the Buzz went from him to Samuel Jackson right there, man. Yeah, bro. He said, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Say it again. All right. Look, look, looking like the Buzz or like trying to out, uh, you know, harness some of that energy. But, okay, trying again with the down smash. Uh, Dark Wizzy still doing the standard get up, man. Really not believing in Cosmos' timing on, on catching that right now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm questioning some things right here, man. I just, uh, the few of these exchanges on the, the left and right sides of the ledges, you know, that, that type of stuff really, really confuses me. Because I'm like, okay, he rolls up. You only have so many, you only have so much time and so many options to cover. And it just really feels like Inkling, you know, does have the tools to kind of punish Mario as he's coming back onto the stage. But earlier today, we've seen Mars do this too, where he'll like stand a ridiculously long length away, possibly anticipating a roll. All right, well, whatever. Okay, well, get him out of here. Uh, get, 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 get him out of here. Yeah, so good, good, like good, that, good man. All right, well, 121. Definitely roller, uh, roller to smash percentage away. Maybe even a good back air, a good forward air if he finds it. But yeah, you saw the roller coming out. But D Dark Wizzy has really made this roller kind of not obsolete uh, as this matchup has been going on, man. He's been able to grab it. He's been able to stuff it out. The down smash, not not the uh, sweet spot, though. So Dark Wizzy living to see another day here at 140 now. Yes. But for how much longer? I mean, obviously, Inkling not short any kill options. And what makes Inkling very dangerous, too, is that you know, a lot of their kill options come out of combos, you know. Like, I mean, of course, they do have, like, roll, uh, you know, the straight-up forward smash, up smash, whatever. If you can get that read, you find yourself off. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Speaking of reads, hold on. Flip the script. Stop the track. Okay. Roller still not still not happening for uh, Cosmos here. Okay, uh, man. That's crazy, too, that he's actually landing and blocking again. You know, like, it's really hard. It is definitely really hard to punish. Wow. To punish England's uh, back air, but... You know, maybe Mario's back air is fast enough to do it, so he's like, let me respect it. Finally gets himself a very deep back air. And there's the, there's the back air once more. And again, we're starting to see that comeback uh, factor kind of play in effect here, you know, that we've seen in game number one. And Sam is digging deep right here, trying to close this one out because I think he knows that if he's allows, if he allows Mars to get this next game, things could be a little bothersome for him in game number five. Hey, down throw. Back here, boom. Yeah. Just like yeah. that, even game. Nice, gets the Nair. Okay, like but the, 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 look at the lead, though. It, it has been, uh, it's been sapped. Oh, wait. Still living. Okay, and the air dodge. Ah, yep, he's going to be able to get back, man. A lot of uh, recovery options. Still got the turn up in hand, man. I think he's trying to use this for something. Hey, he has to toss it out. Ooh, wonderful stuff. Gets the forward. He's going to go deep as he can. Mary Poppins returns, though. Off to the ledge. And the space yes. heals, homie. But in the meantime, we got to talk about this right here. Now, again, we talked about it before. We'll say it again. Obviously, Mars here on the winner's side. Samsora coming in from the loser. So the journey ahead has became that much longer and that much harder here for Samsora. Mars, on the other hand, he might be a little cool right now. But as long as he can tap into some great momentum, he might be able to close this one out with some relative ease. Yeah. Samsora obviously no slouch, though, within his own right. And that's why this match is staying virtually dead even here. Neither side really giving each other too much of anything. Okay, gets the double up air, gets the triple up air right here. If we get one more, man, you got to unplug your controller and go home. Okay, good stuff. I mean, I, yeah, I just this this match, man, the way it went down the first time was definitely a, a lot of uh, a lot of action in between these two competitors, man. But see how the action pays off this time around. Again, Mars, you know, he's, he's been sitting and chilling. He's been watching some of the uh, the matches as well, so he's got the information, but he's got to get his hands warmed back up while Sam Sora, man. You know, getting that clean 3-0 over to Buzz, not expending too much energy there. Not Got at the all. Confidence on his side, you know. Uh-oh. Nice. The empty jump into nothing, but then runs right up and gets the up smash. Now, not quite enough to get the stuff Damn. taken. The space, move over red bottoms. The space hills are getting it done, man. That's the way to a woman's heart. Damn, he, he really just... Let's see how well he's going to try to tighten up here. Nice. No tilt afterwards. Gets the parry, though. Dang, great. Okay, Again. Yeah. He is definitely dropping the feet on him right now, man. The, a lot of forward airs into the, uh, the second forward air to get both the hits. Back air. Oh, it's going to be enough to slide up past that blast zone. Last stock. That was that was some greasy stuff. I like that, man. He yeah. went for the double run in and out and just waited. He said, please jump, homie. That was like you. just enough, too, for him to get past that blast zone. But last stock here mm -hmm. for our competitors, man, on the first set. Sam Sora with a pretty solid lead, but now you see Marsh trying to dig into it. Oh, the jab is taking a little too long to come out. Yes, right. Didn't delay the jab at all that time. Just went for the immediate one, two, three jab, and I get it. You know, it's a quick move out of out of shield. Why not? One of the fastest jabs in the game, too, mind you. Yeah, one of definitely would have believed that was gonna hit. Uh oh, fighting his way back. Nice. Not even electing to go back to the ledge. Yes, has to fight his way back. Goes for the flip kick back on, and Sam Sora is just moving on him. Oh, Sam Sora uh -huh. somehow fading his back air and, and getting his own. Let me and get that forward air off the ledge. Yes, and then caught the turn up again. That's the second time we've seen that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Notice that. Notice that Mars is definitely not trying to jump over Samsor anymore, man. He's, he's been hit by too many up smashes. Probably going to be like, all right, this is a safe option. You know, you. Oh, okay. How, that, did he, 
I can't believe he got that one. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's getting, it's getting scary. A lot of, lot of room to work scary. With. Nice, nice. Gets the down there right on top. That's out the four there. Oh, oh that's so big. Oh my goodness. Okay, the fall away tether. Doesn't get anything off of it though. I can't believe that didn't get punished, man. I, I feel like that should have been game right there. So he, oh, he's got another. Oh, oh, uh, oh. another out. Look on life, what he's going to do here. The standard get up the back air. It's going to be enough in Mars. From behind, takes Dream Hack. Atlanta, oh my God, he's so good. He's so good. He's so good. I don't know how he does it. Business on top, the party on the bottom. I don't know what it is. Don't let the PJs fool you. You cannot sleep on him. He might be ready to pit, but that doesn't mean you should be.